Hi everybody! Um, today we are going to be exploring negative space versus positive space. So usually in art, um, especially when we're drawing, what you're working in is positive space. It's the space that the subject that you're drawing is inhabiting. Um, so we just finished our carving projects with our printmaking where you were removing the negative space for the most part, the space around the object, and leaving sort of the subject behind. Um, so negative space in art is a space around and between the subject of an image. Um, in our case, what we're going to do is we're going to choose an object from our home and we are going to draw that object using only the space around it. I want to show you what I mean. Uh, and when we are done, we're going to sort of do a second version with a different object or maybe just an image that you like um, or a symbol or a logo of some kind um, and we are going to kind of play with the space um, that's left behind. And I feel alive, I feel alive. All right, I've got a teapot that I'm going to use as my um, object and right now I'm going to place it so it looks like this but facing me because I want to kind of have like a head-on look at it um, and I could start with a pencil if I wanted to personally I really enjoy working with charcoal um, so if you have that awesome if you don't not a big deal pencil will work fine too just remember for pencil when you are working with a, um, a project that involves shading what you really want to do is start out as lightly as possible, just really, really lightly. Um, you can probably not even see this right now if you are looking um, on the video. Uh, but what I'm doing is just kind of making this really, really light outline. And remember that everything's just got to be as light as possible with the pencil because later on you're going to go back in uh, and make some areas really dark. So I'll show you with the charcoal so you can see a little bit better. Um, what I'm starting with is the handle of my teacup, I mean my teapot. And I'm sort of curving down and getting in this negative space. So the really important negative spaces are sort of going to be the places like in between my um, handle and my pot and then um, this little space that's negative that will be right here uh, and then basically everything else around it. So I'm really paying attention to these curves and the way that sort of this is taking up space and I'm kind of looking at these little spaces in between focusing less on the teapot itself and more on like the shapes that the space around it can make. Sometimes it actually helps to squint a little bit. I know that sounds silly, um, but that can kind of give you sort of less of a focus on the details and more of kind of a general look at what you are drawing. And again, I'm kind of looking at that space around my teapot and not at the details of the teapot itself. And remember, we don't want to draw anything actually on the teapot or on your object because we're not really going to be focusing on that at all. All right, and I think I've got that blocked in for the most part. Now what I'm going to do is take my vine charcoal or your pencil, if that's easier for you. With your pencil, you're going to really press down just really hard so that you can see. Um, here, I'll test an area here really just as dark as you can. Um, and you might want to just make your space shorter so it takes less time. With a charcoal, you'll be able to cover more area more quickly. And I know this sound can kind of drive some people crazy, so what I'm going to do is play some music over this part. Um, and what my goal is, is to fill up all the space. So just watch what I do. Never in all my life have I seen eyes as empty as these streets in my city on a Saturday night. All the green of your eyes say you go, leave it all behind. But I don't need to be reminded. 
bit of change is gonna come I can feel it on the tip of your tongue And I 